Budgie had been to the Black Rock Lighthouse. Now he was almost home as the hangars of Harefield Airfield came into view. I've delivered the supplies, Lionel. Over. Good chef. On your way to collect the passengers, Pippa? Uh-huh. And you've got the urgent packages? Uh-huh. Ah, right. Hmm. Hello, Pippa. Where are you off to? Mind your own business. What? Pippa! Hey! What did I do to deserve that? Hello, Del. Oh, hi there, Budgie. Pippa's in a funny mood today. You're telling me? I just brought her a load of packages and she says, about time too. You're more like a tortoise than a truck. What? Why? You're the fastest baggage truck I know. <laughs> yeah, well... I wonder what's got into her, Snowy. Hello. What's that thing? That thing is going to be our exhibit for Harefield's new World of Flight Museum. It's a model of the Lunar Exploration Module that landed the first men on the moon in 1969. Cool. We weren't even born then. Well, I was only a baby. Ah. Chuck to Lionel. Chuck to Lionel. Come in, Chuck. I'll be there with a real biggie in a couple of minutes, Captain. Right, Chuck. Oh, and Chuck? Yep. Not Captain. All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sure. Over and out. Hey, Pippa. Hi, kiddo. Kiddo? Don't be so silly. Hey, what's with you? That's a dinky airfield. What's she doing there? And who are those two guys? Yes, all right so far. Right, that's it. Good. No kinks, no frayed wires. Great. I'll wind it in again. Hello, Budgie. Oh, hello. Hello, Dale. <laughs> Is there uh, anything wrong? There's nothing wrong with us. No, there isn't. Oh, right. See you later, then. Pippa, back already? There's no need to be sarcastic, Lionel. I know I'm running late. What? I had to wait to land at Wilden. But you only left five minutes ago. <laughs> Perhaps it just seems like that. Anyway, I can take the two passengers to Oxford now. Uh, Pippa, I'm too busy for jokes. Jokes? But, Lionel... Air traffic control for senior aircraft, please. Ah, must see what they want. Senior aircraft, please. Urgent. Just don't go away. What on earth is going on? How did it fly, Ken? Ah, more questions. But the module hasn't got wings. Or a propeller. Mike? Well, there's no air in space, so wings and props are no good. Exactly. They had to use rockets to push it along. Yeah. Rockets. Del, can't you please tell me what's going on? Oh, it's please now, is it? Whatever happened to tortoise? Tortoise? I don't know what you're talking about. Del? Pippa, you took them to the wrong place. Who, Lionel? Your passengers, the two businesswomen. But I haven't taken any passengers. You took them to Oakford and they wanted to go to Oxford. But, Lionel, I didn't... No buts. Just get over to Oakford and this time take them to where they want to go. Oh. Oh, I wish I could land on the moon in it. Yeah, if only it was the real thing. Hmm, the real thing. I wonder. Great. Those two women are blaming the Harefield lot. I knew they would. Yeah. Next stunt, we'll wait till the real plane's out of the way, then our aircraft can take some packages from Harefield and lose them. You're a genius, boss. A few more disasters, no one will give them any work at all. Then we can move in with our aircraft and get all the jobs and all the money, eh? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to put rockets on it? Wow! Well, like, not exactly real rockets. Flares, so it'll look like it's got rockets. Fantastic! I think there's some old ones in the store. Oh, well. 
At least that's the passenger sorted out. I just wish I knew what was going on, though. I can't... Hello, that's a mark from one of my tyres, but the other one's not. No one here has tyres like that, so how... Budgie! Budgie! Can we try the flares? Wow! No, man. This is for the opening day when... What do you mean, we? Could Ben and I press the button? No way. Sorry, it could be real dangerous. Aww. Uh-uh. This is going to be a job for a responsible adult. Oh, so you'll have to get Ken to do it? Yeah, I'll have to get... Oi, cheeky. <laughs> Listen, are you trying to say it wasn't you who said I was silly this morning? Silly? Just before you landed at that little airfield near Bircham. I never even saw you, and I wasn't anywhere near Bircham. That proves it, Lionel. Pippa must have a double. Another plane that looks just like her. And it's been getting me into trouble and being rude to my friends and... All right, you can take a look at this Bircham place. Oh, thank you, Lionel. But if you see anything suspicious, if you see this double, you tell me, right? Yes, Lionel. And I ought to go with them. Uh, no, Chuck. Uh, there's at least one more of those huge crates to bring here from Wealdham. You're the only one strong enough to carry them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, guess you're right, Lionel. Okay. Good luck, kids. Thanks, Chuck. All right, off you go, then. From what Chuck said, it must be somewhere near here, Budgie. Can't see any sign of it. Bertram's over... Yes, there. Wow, yes, I see it. I'm going to take a closer look. Well, be careful. No sign of life here, Snowy. What are you doing here? Oh, hello. This is a private airfield. But I was wondering if there's another plane here. Uh, I'm here, and you shouldn't be. Look, I'm only... Here! What's going on? That was one of them hairfield aircraft. I think they're onto us. We'd better beat it fast. Boss, we can't. The jet's out of fuel. Oh, no! Those two business women have brought the police. No luck, Pippa. What did that plane say? Nothing helpful. Oh, well. Maybe I was wrong after all. Oh, look! <gasps> Another you! A double! Oh. Hey, you! Come back! Come on! Well, that certainly brought her down to earth. <laughs> or anyway, down to water. <laughs> well, she'll never work round here again. 
What about those two crooks, though? What say we go and sort them out? Too late, Chuck. Oh. The controller called the police half an hour ago. They'll have got them by now. You know, one thing makes me feel sorry for her. After all the trouble she caused. What? What? She's such an awful shade of blue. <laughs> <laughs>